Hey guys, in this video I want to give you a few tips and tricks on your Fire TV with Alexa. Now in a previous video I used my dot to set up my Fire TV and I will link to that below. But today I thought I would change it up a little bit and talk about the Echo Show and the Echo Look which are Oso Alexa devices and Oso work great with your Fire TV. I've had a lot of questions about the Echo Look. Is it really an Alexa device? Yes, absolutely it is, uh, but it does have a front facing camera and it takes pictures of you. And I've got a full review and I will link to that below. So let's start with turning your TV on. So I'll say to my Echo Look, and this will work to, with any of the other devices I just pointed out, I'll say, Alexa, watch Fire TV and the TV comes right on. Now, I already have my input set to input one, which is where my Fire TV is set up on. So now you see that the TV is on and we are at the home screen of our Fire TV. Now, what I think is really interesting about the way Amazon's put together this Fire TV is the searching. The searching is across multiple platforms, not just their streaming service. So I can say, Alexa, search for Sandra Bullock. Getting Sandra Bullock from Fire TV. And here you see the various movies that Sandra Bullock has been in. So the first option came up was While You Were Sleeping. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the remote to click on that one. And I can watch it now on Netflix. And I've already downloaded the Netflix app. I've already enabled that on my account. So I, if I hit play, it's just going to start playing. But let's go to the next one, The Proposal and I have a choice of renting it or buying it from the Amazon streaming service. And next we have Crash. There are watch free view options on a different version of the movie Crash. I can watch it on Pluto TV or Tubi TV, neither of which I have loaded on my device now. Uh, so it will probably, if I click on Pluto TV, it'll probably take me to a screen to enable that app. And it does. Next, let's check out the blind side. Now, I thought this was really interesting. It's searching on PlayStation View platform, and I can watch it if I have a PlayStation View app or an account. Or I can rent it from Amazon streaming services. And actually, let me go to more ways to watch, and, and it'll list out all the options for me. I can rent from Amazon, I can buy from Amazon, I can play on PlayStation View, and it's even got an option for TNT. So it's searching across multiple platforms whether you have that app enabled or not. Thought that was really interesting. Go back a little bit. Now, let's say I'm searching for a specific movie. So I'll say, Alexa, search for Our Brand is Crisis. Getting Our Brand is Crisis from Fire TV. And you'll see that there is that movie. So you can search by actor, by movie, all sorts of genre, you can say. And I can see I can rent it from Amazon. So let's say, you know, you can search by Alexa, search for romantic comedies. Getting romantic comedies from Fire TV. And you can see a lot of different options there too. So it's great for searching, especially over different platforms. Sometimes you want to see a movie, but you're not really sure who's got it and how to watch it. And this really gives you all the different options. The next thing I'm going to say is if you're trying to do a YouTube search. Now there's this whole thing going on right now with YouTube and Amazon and Google and this competitive stuff going on. So I don't know if this is going to be around much longer. Uh, after January 1st, 2018, YouTube may be uh, leaving Fire TV. But for now, if you do want to search and you do want it to include YouTube, you want to search something on YouTube, I haven't found a way to just go to the YouTube app and do a search. What I figured out is you have to say, Alexa, search for Reese Witherspoon. Getting Reese Witherspoon from Fire TV. So let's say we've got that and then when you go into apps, you want to do a search on youtube.com and what should come up is the top videos featuring Reese Witherspoon. And here they are. So that's the best way I found to uh, search on YouTube through Fire TV. So just do a search and then go into the YouTube app. 
let's say I need some guitar lessons, which you'll probably agree with me after listening to me play just now. So I'll say, Alexa, search for guitar lessons. Getting guitar lessons from Fire TV. And sure enough, we've got some guitar lessons to choose from, beginner guitar lessons. I can buy episodes. And that's the first thing that came up. The next thing that came up was Guitar Gate. And wow, it's included with my Amazon Prime subscription. So I might be watching that after this episode. So let's say I would like to take a yoga class. Alexa, search for yoga class on Fire TV. Get a yoga class from Fire TV. And sure enough, there are videos that are included with my Amazon Prime subscription. There are apps that I can download and use, all sorts of great information for niche content that you might not find on mainstream Netflix or Hulu. Another thing that Amazon's great for is gaming. If you don't have a gaming console, but you want to play a game on your TV, there are games that you can download for free, and some of them have in-app purchases, and you can use this remote as your controller, or Amazon actually has a controller that they will sell you for about $50, I'll link to that below, uh, that you can use with the games that are available on Fire TV. I'll show you an example right now. Alexa, launch Pac-Man 256. Getting Pac-Man 256, Endless Arcade Maze from Fire TV. And this is a little Pac-Man game I found. And you use the remote to control where your little Pac-Man goes. And I can control where he goes <laughs> with my little <laughs> remote control. So I'm not very good at this, and I'm, not very, and I'm certainly not very good at playing this game while I'm trying to shoot a video here. But you kind of get the idea. You can use your Fire TV as a gaming app as well. I'm going to go back to home because I'm probably going to, I'm not doing well at this game. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is if it is prime content that you can play directly with Alexa. So I'm going to say, Alexa, play the big sick. Getting the Big Sick from Fire TV. And what is going to come up here is a movie that is available with my Amazon Prime subscription. It's going to come right up and I can uh, fast forward. So I'm going to rewind, start from the beginning. So I'm going to say, Alexa, rewind 10 minutes. Or I can say, Alexa, fast forward 30 minutes. Alexa, stop. Alexa, play. And if it is a prime movie or if it is content that's streaming from the Amazon service, you can control it with the Alexa. Alexa, go to home screen. And you can go right to home. I hope you found these tips and tricks with Fire TV and Alexa useful. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. See you next time. Bye.